We're, we are taking a look at the mental health impacts in the aftermath of Tropical Storm. Hillary News Channel 3's Samantha Lomiba is live in the Panorama neighborhood in Cathedral City, which was hit hardest by the storm and the mud. Samantha must be physically and mentally draining for them to have to dig out all those homes. Yeah, John, absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt that the d damage that you saw in these homes and in this neighborhood took a toll on the residents' mental health. And one we actually spoke with earlier says that this tragedy, it's going to take some time for him to work through it, but he's going to be working through it with his neighbors. We got talking about all this other stuff, but, but the impact itself was unimaginable. A week later, Rick Robinello is still feeling the impact of Tropical Storm Hillary after flooding filled his Cathedral City home with several feet of mud. It all came in so fast that he and his wife were on opposite sides of the house and couldn't get to each other. I got to that upper level and she was at the back side of the door. There was three foot of mud on that upper level foyer and there was three foot of mud on my side and I could not get to her. I've been through some stuff in my life, but that one got me. Robinello and his wife made it out safely. They've been digging out the damage for days, but it's that very moment when their lives were at risk that continues to play in his head. The first couple of days was more of a physical reaction. It's like it wasn't about saving stuff in the house or whatever. It's like who's safe? You know, what's going on there? What can we do to get folks safe and all? But day one, I said a couple of days is going to hit you emotionally, and it did. Not only did he lose much of his home, but all of Ravanello's pets also died in the flooding. You know, I just think about the suffering and all, but, uh, you know, that's, it is what it is. A traumatic experience like this can make an impact for weeks or even months. The first two to four weeks following a disaster or some kind of crisis, we consider acute distress. But anything that goes beyond four weeks may indicate that help from a professional might be warranted. Diana Gutierrez with Riverside County Behavioral Health tells us this kind of trauma can make someone feel less motivated, overwhelmed, and harder to concentrate. There are many ways to cope with this pain, but Gutierrez says supporting each other is the best way to start. It's just in families, in neighborhoods, and in communities, just being there for one another and recognizing that they're all going through a tough time is probably the best and most common way to start. For Ravanello, he says the community has done just that. So we'll deal with this one day at a time and uh, with the love of you folks and these folks and all uh, yeah we'll get through it yeah, and we've really seen how the community has showed up for each other here inside the Panorama neighborhood. Now, the county says if you are still looking for more help, you are urged to call the crisis hotline. It's that phone number right there on your screen. You can also find it on our website, KESQ.com. And they said you can call anytime, whether it be something you need right now or it could be some long-term support in the future. Live in Cathedral City, Samantha Mebow, News Channel 3.